Welcome in here to uh, Bearcat Football Stadium, uh, University Parkway, BGC Vanilla. We're uh, picking up the action here, 15-21 in, and currently 0-0 with uh, Manila taking the ball, pressing through the midfield. Uh, you're with uh, Coach Pierce, Coach Vintner, and uh, Mr. Doble. Luke, what have you seen so far? I've seen you've been up here for a while. Fairly uneventful half so far, Jackson. Ball spent a bit too much time in the air for my liking, but uh, ISM are looking fairly good on the counter when they get the chance. Maybe nick a goal before half time. Yeah, it's good. they kind of got that yesterday afternoon, or sorry, early morning game against uh, the ISB team. They looked uh, the stronger of the two, but uh, the tenacity from the ISM team managed to get a get a sneaky goal there. Um, James Noble with your match analysis. What have you picked up so far watching the event? Well, it's a dangerous time for Bearcats. You know, some of the players at the moment in the penalty box. A lot of movement, pretty easy save for the keeper though. You know, this is one of the times when Bearcats really need to make sure we've got a player marked. 
and if possible try and get a quick counter um, at the moment some of the ball another high ball sometimes sometimes waste of some fantastic speed at, at the front there leo really putting pressure on the keeper there to to smother the ball but uh yeah as you say mr pierce i think a few more touches a little bit more control and uh just trying to play it to the wings a little bit more really have a, a, a good push forward and uh try and make use from this ball the ball over the top nine chasing down for ism and that's good pressure should be a corner it is yeah it is. hopefully ism can uh, can turn that into a, a chance here on goal let's see who's going to take it looks like leo's heading over to take the corner right footed naturally i believe so uh right it in. Should, uh, be quite handy Little Apparently flick on, on a five in Ivy Sports Science, Leo. <laughs> oh, we're in oh. the box, what a chance! Oh, oh, off the off post. The post! Santos off the post! Oh, still in the box, not away from danger yet, but cleared up. Big by the chance keeper. for ISM. Great work there for Rand Santos. His father is next to me and he's gone absolutely crazy. That's come off the woodwork. Earthquake up here, the excitement levels, but yeah, great chance there for ISM. Little known stat about high school football, 7% of goals, oh sorry, only 7% of corners result in a goal. You know, a lot of people work for them, but quite a low con uh, conversion rate, but great chance there for my sin. Corners per game is Mr. Pierce. Uh, uh, both, team, both teams can click. This is, this is generally a football. Football of all levels yeah, around the world. Uh, 13.7. Very close, 12 and a half. What? The average, so ISM with the ball here. Looking space. to move it to the right flank. Great ball. A little give and go. Oh, was that clipped Ref. to the back? No, no he put yeah, his whistle to challenge. his mouth. Bit of space here on the right. Oh, that was a crucial miss. Oh, there's a smother, a great ball through. Got space. Oh, and the dangerous. flag's up, the oh, flag's up. Flag is, uh, very close, but a great bit of football there. Great one, two space, space out wide, and uh, I think the ref's just going to VAR on this one. Is he going to double check? It's in his ear. No, they said it's good. Good decision from the line. Eh? What have your thoughts been on the uh, the officials so far, guys? There's been a few a uh, few grumbles the last game uh, there. I seem got a, a sneaky penalty. Um, yesterday there was a few uh, bouts of controversy. What are your thoughts? Well, they say don't they? The sign of a good referee is one that you don't particularly notice, and I I have notice these referees quite a lot it might be their very loud pink attire or it could be the overuse of the whistle one or the two i think you know sometimes especially at, uh, when you're watching football on tv some of these players go down so easily and there's been some really good challenges some tough challenges from both teams but they've really stood up to it to the heat and the pressure and uh, i think the kind of referees have adapted to the kind of level and, and, and the aggressiveness of the game so far and it's quite good that there's been a lot of advantage being played some of the you know, some teams playing on it and it's good to see what comes of it rather than players on the floor dropping over holding their legs knees shins whatever the case may be. fair point mr Doe, but it's not an easy job maybe i was no, a bit too harsh there very, very big big up the referees well, uh, Mr. Binto, I look forward to seeing you take on uh, one of these games as a referee. In oh, I just prefer being critical from up here in the commentary <laughs> box. Oh, free kick ISM here, just on the edge of the box. This could be interesting. Yeah, it's just a little bit far away for mine for a, for a real hot chance, but if someone get on the end of it, looks like Rand Santos is coming forward to take it. No, I'm wrong. Would you fancy your chances, Mr. Here, uh, Pierce, for a free kick here? Uh, I did play uh, football in the 2001-2002 season for Rangers Football Marlborough United, um, and I wouldn't have been allowed to take this opportunity. I was, I was more based on my size and strength, pushing the player off. But here goes Miguel here go. Dans. Sorry, Marco Dans. Oh, oh. It's, it's, it's still loose in the box. Oh, cleared there from the just defender. Looks like ISM had the, the, the better 10 minutes going on here and uh, just working hard, you know, it, it, still in the game, they're working hard, but uh, definitely ISM have had, the, I'd say, the better chances in the last uh, few minutes. Good to see him working the keep there from the free kick. Over the wall, a little bit of dip, bounce just in front of him, never easy to deal with. Not an easy save at all. Uh, low and hard and you, it's very unpredictable at times, those bounces. So. ISM starting to gain a bit of composure here. 
he says as they lose the ball. <laughs> That's got to be a free kick of some sort. So good advantage, good advantage from the ref. Key, oh, great header. Who was that? Number, is that number 13? Great, great header by Tass. Really putting his uh, body on the line there. So, just sorry, just. Oh, fantastic ball by Gis, but just picked out by an ISM player. So a good, good few minutes of play here by, uh, by Gis. Because Coach uh, McInnes will be starting to think about his half-time team talk. What do you think is going through his mind right now? First of all, if I look at the two uh, animated on the sideline, I can see Mr. McInnes really trying to push their players around, much like a, uh, a player on FIFA 2000 and 2002, early coming out on the PlayStation, move your players around individually. Whereas Dave Martin's more of the, the tactical, the whole picture kind of thing. Uh, maybe comes from their background as, uh, as a PE teacher, looking at the more of a holistic kind of approach to uh, performance. But overall, I feel like, like you said early on, Luke, uh, keeping it on the ground seems to be playing off. Since they have kept it on the ground, being a, a lot more completion rate with the passes, a lot more attacking up front. I, I feel like a lot of uh, the, the work from the backs is just hacking it forward and hoping for the best, but that's kind of uh, dissipated over the last couple of minutes. So hopefully more of that to follow. Certainly be the happier of the coaches at the moment. Having said oh. that, Giz on the attack. Good player. Sorted Thank out by God. Santos. Santos driving forward now. But uh, no one really available. Just great. Really kept that ball in play there, but I think there's a slight foul. So you were saying Mr. McInnes learnt a lot of his coaching skills from FIFA, you were saying. Is that, uh, is that the case? Yeah, well, I mean, he's a great athlete himself. I've seen him on the field on on many different uh, specialities, but I know that uh, due to uh, a few lack in, uh, in fitness levels, maybe the, the digital version is uh, where his prowess is a little bit more inclined to take place nowadays, but uh, he's very much of the ilk of working individually with the players, telling what individually to do, and so uh, that's more of my, it's not so much as a, as a PlayStation fan yeah. guru, but uh, more of a coach that looks at the individual player. Famously models himself on the uh, well-known Norwich City manager from the <laughs> early 2000s, Nigel oh, Robinson. Oh, 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 some of the chance! Oh, oh, another great clearance off the line. Very good clearance. defensive play by Jakarta there. They are working so hard in defence. It could easily be 2-0 here. Could have been their own goal, but really working hard. A fantastic chip over the top of the keeper there. On a, on a ball that like it was going nowhere. It's in with a corner from our blind spot here, so bear with us. We need to have a chat with Mr. Flynn about chopping these trees down for the next game, I think. Here it comes, I think. Oh, punching. I thought, it, I thought he was, I thought he was going to catch it, but he went for the, I don't know, maybe the ball was moving in the air. So, a little bit overcast, maybe there's a little bit of turbulence and uh, the ball was moving slightly. You know, you never can tell, Mr. Pierce, until you're in those positions. If this was a cricket match, you'd be winning the toss and bowling, wouldn't you, Mr. Doble? <laughs> I think so. With this think. cloud cover. <laughs> but it's not. Cricket is not, uh, hasn't quite made it as an IS sport yet, but uh, there's hope, there's rumour that, uh, that, that baseball might give way to cricket in the next few years. Well, funny you say that. I actually had a number of students come up to me in the stands of the girls' football match and, uh, and try to campaign the old uh, the cricket for IASIS, but as uh, I've, I've tried to make noise about it in the past, ISM seems to be the only school with any... Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, one nil Jakarta. Against the run of play. It has against, been, it has been. Really interrupted my cricket chair, but that is against the run of play. Unexpected, how did that happen? Work the ball down the left, lovely low cross to the near post. Got a good strike on it, always tough for the keeper. Uh, it was, and that's one of the dangerous things we talked about with Jakarta. If they have a... Uh, sorry, J uh, Jakarta International School, if they have a quick break, they are dangerous, and that's exactly what happened. It came against the run of play, down the wing, and a fantastic low hard ball into the corner, and the keeper had no chance. Mr. Uh, McInnes looking very uh, very frustrated over there. He's and that's his half-time team talk out the window. It was, he was, talk he was going to look at uh, talking about the positives and having the run of play, but that's gone completely against it, and that has made it tough for ISM now with the results from yesterday. And, uh, and where's Jakarta sitting on the table? We, we need to pull, well, they need to pull that one back there. I'm impartial to both teams. Um, and, and hopefully, take some points from this match. Free kick ISM. What was that? A high boot, I think? Yeah. Important few minutes here before the break. Just regain some composure, try and create a couple of chances. It's well controlled there. Is that Dean's? Oh, little flick of the ankles. Referee says play on. No. Oh. Fair challenge. Got the ball. It's 
a little bit scrambled now from ISM. They just need to you know, play their game, remain composed. And then the goal will come. That's like I say, fantastic defense and uh, quick break by Jakarta. But, you know, ISM on the back foot right now. Yeah, I mean, if you look back three minutes on the clock, I mean, ISM, a great, great shot with the, uh, the free kick, then a one cleared off the line from Jess and then followed up by a corner all over the goal box. Nothing really coming from Jakarta. And then against the run of play, um, they took their opportunity and put it in the back of the old onion bag. Yeah, Santos hitting the post as well. Really unlucky not to go in. So, uh, like I say, we've got a lot of football still to play. Just shows how quickly a game can turn. Could have been ISM 1 0 up, straight down the other end, and they're behind. A bit too uh, much on that. Hopeful. Yeah, Andrew Beck there kicking the ball forward, um, French-Canadian origins, um, and so uh, actually uh, dab hand at, the, at rugby, so he's, uh, he's very uh, adept at uh, working the player off the ball, but uh, less so on the finesse. It's always nice to have a few Canadians in your li lineup as well, that real hotbed of football. <laughs> Thomas Radzinski, anyone remember him? Played in the Premier League. Uh, no. top, top Canadian international. <laughs> But uh, Beck's been very solid. He's playing a kind of defensive uh, sweeper role, and uh, you know physicality from the rugby field is really showing here. And he's he's not a man to uh, to bow of a challenge. A yeah. couple of minutes left on the clock. ISM really want to finish on a positive this half, and they've done well to steal the ball. Great one two there with Leo. How's this going to finish? Oh, there's opportunity here, and Jakarta again just smothering that ball in defence there. Really, really uh, denying ISM. ISM again, a lot, of luck. a lot of luck down that right hand side, though. They've really worked the ball nicely in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, if I was them, I'd really be trying to push for these last two, two minutes to try to get one on the score. But I'm sure Jess is just trying to hold out to half time being on the back foot. Really, really good opportunity now to push and, uh, and tie it up. When uh, they've got some tired bodies from Jess, they probably want to get onto the sideline and. Get a wee uh, douse of water. Here we are in the box. Oh, fantastic acrobatics there! It looked like something of a gymnasium. The oh, and there's another quick break. Dangerous. A Beck, very sensible and uh, solid defender again. Got to get back up on those. Dangerous when you go down the floor. And Jakarta here with another great counter. ISM really, oh, ISM really working hard to get back. But I think there was a slight foul there. Fair enough. Yeah, fair Good enough. Right well. yeah. But uh, you know, ISM. This is how dangerous Jakarta have been. It's a quick quick break every time looks like it might swing one into mixer and try and get something in the back of the net really uh, kind of put the pressure on the second half if they can go 2-0 up here here comes number 5 from Jakarta looking to send it in the box number 11 looking to be on the end of it I'm correct at number 11 straight in oh cleared away still not danger gone now nah, played back into the midfield oh, we're in the box here 9 A lot of scratchy Chance for ISM to break. Not coming off the middle of the foot. Good tactical foul, that. Just break um, up the counter attack. Every sport has uh, has the foul rule in it, but yeah, there's always a good one, there's always a bad one, and a good one there from number eight. Just slowing the play and bringing the troops back behind the ball. And we've got 30 minutes on the time now, so we're into the referees. Coaches McInnes and Martin just consulting with each other. Think about how they're going to motivate the players for the second half. They've done well. It's, it's been a good half. They're slightly unfortunate going behind. I'm loving Mr. McInnes's hat there. It looks like it's about to go into the Serengeti and explore some uh, some wildlife. You know, it's uh, it's really looking the part. But, Either uh, that or take to the pitch in the uh, county championship in the early 90s. <laughs> Just a wee shout out to uh, Neil Woods. His birthday today. Collecting the ball down the back there. He's tournament director for soccer and uh, admittedly knows very little um, he'll claim that himself but uh, he has been working hard every Thursday morning with the soccer team and trying to develop his skills so shout out to Neil Woods you're never too old to learn new tricks I mean, he looks good for 56 I know it's uh, he is in fantastic fantastic condition considering but uh, Mr. Woods is all oh, oh, down the left dangerous ball here and smothered by the keeper Mr. Woods is uh, been with the rugby program actually so he's uh, he's been with JB the last few years, you know, really helping out in all directions. So I'm sure he uh, has got many, many tricks in the old bag, many skills in the locker. So anyway, that's the end of the first half. Time for the halftime break, brought to you by Jolly B. <laughs> and any f further analysis? 
You know, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's 